What's up, you guys? Welcome back for another new video. And today we're going to be doing a ranking. So let's get this started. All four Lego movies ranked from worst to best. Let's get it started. Coming in last place is. Oh, wait. Don't do that yet. Okay. Before you watch this video, go hit that subscribe button. Go hit the smash like, smash the like button if you like this video. And if you agree with me, picture this down at the comments below. And let's get this started. Also, go check out two channels. I put it in the description. Um, okay, Tyra Shaman and Madison Shaman. Let's take a, check out those two channels and let's get this ranking started. Coming in last place is the Lego Ninjago movie. Now, I wasn't very impressed with this movie. It tried to do something, I guess. Okay, this was just about all those nin all the ninjas going to save, like, going to get this thing to stop. Um. The meow thing that Lloyd put out, it didn't do anything that the movie did. Which that, the, I mean, the show did. The show went on for something else instead of just going on a quest to save your city over a cat. Because it was all Lloyd's fault. Basically, Lloyd's kind of the enemy who done all this, which started all this haywire. But it doesn't make sense. Because if they stopped, they stopped the kitty. Did they actually stop it? He just talked to the kitty, which made the kitty um throw out um I mean like garment on started crying. And then that little tear went on to the cat's mouth, which made him spit it out. Okay, so that means that did the cat go away? I don't know for sure what happened, but I want to go see this and movie theater is not impress me much. Coming in third place is the Lego Batman movie. Okay, people would put the Lego movie 2 here, and I did not. I was very impressed with that movie. I was, I was impressed with this movie also. I loved it. This was like a love story to me or something. Okay, because I love this movie, honestly. And I think that it doesn't have any problems. It, it's a good movie. I put it probably in seventh place on all Batman movies. We'll do that ranking soon, probably, once I watch all of them in order someday. I do have a, um, another ranking later to do, but we are not talking about that right now. But this movie tried to be a love story, which I love that basically Batman gets a son because he's always alone, basically saving the city. His mom and dad died, which made him alone. He has Alfred, but that doesn't mean anything. So he goes down to the one place, and he kind of falls in love with Batgirl, Barbara, hashtag Barbara. So stops Robin because he wasn't paying attention. Then this just becomes an all superhero love story. At the ending, he has to go back to the fa uh, Phantom Realm, whatever it's called. But he didn't go, whatever it's called. I think that's from Ant-Man and the Wasp. I don't know what it's called. But they stop him from doing that because he doesn't belong up there. He belongs down there with his son and stuff. Coming in second, our runner up second place is the big movie. Regular one movie. Okay. Yes, this is the very hardest, weirdest, and very hard choice that I've ever had to make. The Lego Movie and the Lego Movie 2 are great movies, and I couldn't choose. Okay, so the Lego Movie comes in second place because this movie is just great on us. Awesome. Basically, they um basically start the story off with them there. And literally, Emmett falls into a hole, touches this cube, which pits it on his back. So the story is about that thing trying to get it off, it's trying to stop it. Which at the ending, um, Duplo comes out because of the little sister, and that door is the key to everything. Coming in number one place is the Lego Movie Two. I love this movie; it's awesome. Okay, so this takes place right after the first movie with Duplo. So, yeah, basically, it doesn't work out with them. And they ate that block, which made them go crazy around the city and breaking everything. Five years later into the story, things go very bad. Not very bad. Duplo comes back to the city, attacks. Then they land up with Lucy getting kidnapped and stuff. This, is, this story is about Emmett trying to save um, Lucy from the Duplo. Which, they all have a story, guys. So the story's about him trying to go save Lucy from the Duplo. And it's a hard mission for that. But they had to go do it. So this 
This mission is very long, okay? So he makes Rex, Rex dangerous, which is in, like, in the future. Okay, so he fell out of a of a thingy, and now he's stuck there. So go check out my movie review for that. But, yeah. So it basically goes down to Emmett um, breaking the marriage, which makes them, they think everything's not awesome to stop all this. Okay, so that basically, um, Lucy wasn't supposed to save Emmett because, um, I really don't know. It's been a while since I watched it. So basically, um, Rick's dangerous disappears because time changed. We get to a happy ending, and that is it. So if you agree with me, press agree. If you don't agree with me, say don't agree. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.